precisely what will be discussed in this video. This video it will study disability focusing on blindness based on three documentaries on YouTube. Blindness is a lack of vision. It may also refer to a loss of vision that cannot be corrected with glasses or contact lens. Partial blindness means you have a minimal idea. Complete blindness means you cannot see anything and do not see the light. Common causes of blindness include diabetes, macular degeneration, and traumatic injuries. There are three common types of blindness. Firstly, color blindness, which the ability to perceive differences in various shades of colors, mainly green and red. Next is night blindness, which is difficult to see under situation of decreased illumination. And lastly, snow blindness is a loss of vision after exposure of the eye to large amounts of ultraviolet light. Before we start our discussion, let's talk on our exceptional individuals that we have studied on. Firstly, Kyren. Kyren was born blind due to glaucoma, which was his retina wasn't formed properly during his, during his birth. He is from Cameron, Australia, and he has a mother and a sister, and is also a primary student when the re when at the time of the recording of his story. The next one is Freedom. She was born with retinoblastoma, which needed medical attention to remove one of her eyes. However, after five years, the sickness invades her other eyes and she, need, she needed chemo, which led to her being blind fully. She is from King's Country, which is in New Zealand. And despite being a school dropout, she currently works alongside her family in their family farm. Our third and final focus is on Mirjana Kristanovic who became blind when she was 10. She is from Estros, which is in Sweden, and she actually represents Sweden in the World Championship of Performing Arts in July of 2019. Come on, sometimes it goes wrong Holly. and sometimes you're lost, but usually you've got people around you who will in some way rescue you. And you learn by your mistakes. To be myself. Freedom now, she's a hard worker, yeah. She's a good worker. Um, yeah, I mean, you tell her to do something, she usually gets up and goes and does it, so, yeah. She speaks her mind. I wouldn't say that's from me, it's be more from mum than, than me. So, and then a little bit on the of me, so rock, if you can a little bit higher. A little more, up, up with the foot. Om du vill, då finns det möjligheter, så brukar jag alltid tänka. To start our discussion, we are going to talk on their developments. Firstly, Kyren. When he was just 5 years old, he already learned braille and by the age of 11, he already learned on how to use a walking stick or how he calls it a cane or his um, lightsaber. He always learns on new things by people telling and describing things to him. He also has learned on how to navigate direction and away from obstacles despite his young age. Freedom also has fully learned using braille and using a walking stick when she studied in her boarding school. However, growing up, her parents want to, her, to make her feel as normal as possible. That is why she had to learn much harder compared to others. Um, this is because there is no safety net around her when she navigates throughout the world. Plus, she's also much easier to make uh, friends. Now, I will explain the development of Mirjana Krisanovic. Mirjana is always using technology that has voiceover to help her with daily life. For example, laptop, smartphone and printer. She also always asks people if she is in an unfamiliar area to avoid being lost. Other than that, Mirjana is taking dancing and acting classes as mind therapy. She believes that acting and dancing are method to express feeling and relieve stress inside. And lastly, she memorized how many steps need to be stepped to make it easier when walking. This will also make it easier for her to move. Next are challenges that Kyron faces in his life. Firstly, he must remember many things, such as walking step and bringing his cane. He does not understand that perception and it is harder to learn and continue for upper level education. Due to his shortcomings, he has also caused the harder at making friends playing and being a kid. Next, he is annoyed at using cane because he feels stuck using that stuff and wants to feel like an average person. He thought if he always bring the cane, he is likely a different person than someone else. 
Lastly, the challenge that Karen faced uh, and he finds it difficult to be independent in his daily life. When his one mother wanted to teach him something, he would feel annoyed. Like when he she introduced him to smearing the butter into the bread by himself. Next are challenges that freedom faces in her life. Firstly, she does not explore the world and feels restri restricted from doing the more complicated challenging tasks. This all due to her shortcomings that cause her to feel he, she cannot do such an activity. In addition, she also does not continue learning because she has a problem understanding something especially related to the lessons. She also not a fully independent person. And lastly, like Kyren, Freedom also does not like using a cane. She felt if she didn't use a cane, she would like another average person. For Mirjana, she suffered quite a harsh challenges. One of it, one of it was that her job application was not accepted just because of her blindness. Plus, she also struggles to find someone to teach her dancing just because they thought that she could not afford the fee. Plus, um, some um, teachers who teach dancing also think that um, dancing is a visual practice, which in case of Mirana, she is blind and she cannot see this dancing at all. In school, she was also bullied by her own classmates and there is just so much of people who doubt about her dreams and things that she could achieve. And finally, Many people could not put faith on Miriana being fully independent by herself due to her blindness. For support system, Kyron has quite a lot of them. He has his own mother, who is not just his guardian but his teacher, and also a sister, who is also his closest best friend. He also has his own role model, which is Don McKenzie, who is also a blind person. He also receives teacher's aid at school. And talking about school, he was also given a typing machine for blind people to use and to learn. And finally, he also entered a blind foundation which consists of other blind peers which is close to his age so that they will be able to talk about their feelings and their thoughts. For freedom, her family is her strongest support, particularly her parents and her siblings. Her parents always hoping for her to be able to be free just as her name stated. Her siblings, which includes sisters and brothers, also never treat her any differently despite her disability. The community in which she lives also supported her and treated her as equally as possible. When she was in her boarding school, she receives a lot of support which also leads to her greatest strength, which is in writing and singing her own music to express her emotions. Now, I will explain the support system that Mirjana has. First are her parents. Her parents were responsible for giving her moral support when she was confirmed to have lost sight at 10 years. In addition, her colleagues help her a lot in her daily life. For example, they will help her read the label on a material. Finally, acting and dancing, which are two essential elements of the support system in Mirjana's life. Acting and dancing make Mirjana able to express her feeling and she can also prove that she can achieve her dream of making a film. Next, I will explain the similarities and differences between these three people. Firstly, all these three percent people do not want to be visually impaired. They want to be expected and be able to do daily activities like other normal people. For example, they want to move without using a cane. They are also capable of doing things that normal person can do. For example, Mijana can dance and successfully represent Sweden in a dance competition. Lastly, they also need help from people around them in a certain situation. For example, they need to ask people if they are in unfamiliar place. The difference between this person, this three percent, uh, they became blind in different way, such as through cancer, accident, and naturally. Other than that, their ability to live independently in daily life also different. For example, Mijana is a person who likes to be independent, while Karen does not want to be independent and freedom is not fully independent in her life. The theory that I want to focus about after watching these three documentaries is Bronfenbrenner's ecological theory. This theory focuses on the social context in which people live and people who influence their development. Firstly, the individuals. As we know, our main focus is on the development of Kyren, Freedom and Mirjana Kristanovic. 
Next is microsystem, which is the direct interactions between the individuals and others. Some of them such as families, teachers, colleagues and peers, school, role model, and many more. Mesosystem. For this one, this is to see the linkage between microsystems in which we could see from Chiron's documentaries, which is between his family and his role model, and from Freedom's, which is between her school and her family. After that is the exosystem. In this category, this is for some experiences in which these people do not have an active role towards the development of the individuals, however, would still influence the individual's development. These are such as the community, which we could see in all three of the documentaries. Lastly is the macro system, in which it is the broader culture of all of these categories of people lives, which is in Australia, New Zealand and Sweden. For instance, some similarities that we could see in which all of these condition, all three of them live is in a much more open concept and very accepting to all of these differences which means they particularly embraces equality to a certain degree. To summarize the Bronfenbrenner's theory, it is particularly important to think on the differences of these individuals had to face and how we could treat them better as it could affect their development. Plus, the importance of connections, which is, which is in any connections residing within the individuals is important nevertheless. And finally, it is very important of making them feel welcome in their own or in any other communities without degrading their disability. From this, from this documentary, I will relate to Ericsson Lifespan Development Theory. This theory teaches that consistent love and support are essential for a person's development, especially to someone with a lack of disability. Moral support and constant love can increase a person's confidence when overwhelmed by something they cannot accept, such as losing the ability to see. If these people are not given support, they may feel down and worse, they may think of ending their life. Kairan, Freedom and Mlijana get solid support, especially from their family. Their families are always there for them, and without this family, they may not be able to continue, to continue their daily life. For conclusion, we could see the struggles that all of these ex exceptional people had to face, yet being so strong and embracing their own disability as their own. In my opinion, watching these documentaries helps open up the thought of feeling very grateful of what has been given to us. Looking on the three of them does ensue PT. However, there is no need for that because we should be Plus, we actually should be more proud of them for continue living their life and showing the true strength of human being from within. So, always be grateful and live life to its fullest. In my personal opinion, we should always give support and not ignore people like those who have shortcomings. We should also we should treat them as other ordinary people because they want us to treat them that way. We also don't want to discriminate against them in job opportunities because we assume they are incapable of doing everything. We also need to increase the number of technologies to facilitate their affairs. For example, a traffic light with a voiceover to make it easier for them to cross the road. Lastly, regardless of whether a person is normal or not, everyone is entitled to have a good life. That's all for me. Thank you.